Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to create a model class and also we're going to create a controller and we're going to test our work. So let's begin. So inside the source main Java, I'm going to create a new package, which is for model class. So the package name is model. And inside this model class, I'm going to create a new class, which is to do DTO. And I'm going to annotate this model class with a few annotations. Setter, this is for setter methods. Add getter for the getter methods. And all these annotations are coming from the Lombok package. And I'm going to import, sorry, I'm going to use a, two more annotations, which is all args constructor. And we're going to use no arcs constructor as well. And we're going to use a one more annotations, which is at document annotation, much like when we are working with the relational database, we are going to use at entity. So in when we are working with the MongoDB database, or when we are working with the NoSQL databases, we are going to annotate with the at document annotation. And this entire model class is map it to a single document which is inside the mongodb collection so that's why we're going to use at document notation and we're going to specify the collection name instead of the table when we are working with the relational database in when we are working with the mongodb or when we are working with the nosql database we are going to specify it as a collection so the collection name which is to do let me import all these annotations Let's go ahead and define the fields. So the first field is ID, which is of type string. And we are going to create a to do. So which is of type string. And we are going to specify the description. So which is of type string. And we are going to create completed we are going to specify whether the to do is completed or not which is of type boolean and i'm going to use timestamps so private date created at and private date updated at so let's quickly import all these dates Control shift O, which is from the util package. So all right, now we have this should be string. Okay, so let's save this. And we're going to annotate the ID property with the add ID annotation. And let's import this ID as well. All right, so now we have created the model class, which is having the properties like ID the to do name description completed created that and updated that and now let's save this and let's quickly create the controller uh, before that let's go ahead and create the repository so i'm going to create a package to keep all our repositories and this should be repository and inside this package i'm going to create an interface and this should be to do repository and we're going to extend the interface with mongodb mongo repository and click finish and first i'm going to annotate this with the at repository annotation and i'm going to specify the model class name which is to do dto and the data type property which is string the primary key type which is string and let's import this all right so let's save this so now we have created the repository as well and in the next video we are going to create a controller and we are going to test our work so we'll see you in the next video